Hey guys, in the le uh, last episode, we visited the, the cemetery for Victoria Collins. And yeah, we're about to head to sleep. Let's go. Into Dreamland, get trace, uh, chased by the Reaper. Alright. Find a way out. Why is it always the forest? Oh! So many doors. Find a way. So many. Uh, the door is at the end. Right? Oh, okay. Ooh. That was a close one. One o'clock. It's the 19th. This might be the last one. Okay. Oh, ah. Uh, didn't read the text. Just click to, uh. Alright. Bun with jam or bun with a little meat. Yes. Like that sausage. Okay. Let's go. Have breakfast. Actually, the my toast with jam would be better for breakfast, but I chose them. Alright, let's see. What's for today? Not sleeping. Okay. Uh, northeast humidity temperature. It's sunny day. Yay! I'm not, not gonna read the news and blog. Okay. Let's see if there's. A, a, pick up the guitar. Nice. Good to do some tunes once in a while. Cool. I think uh, it's about time to leave this town. There's nothing for for me here now. I doubt I can finish college. And why should I? The rest of my life will be I will be traveling without stopping for a long time in one place. If I d uh, if die, then it won't be in this apartment it will be for me oh it'll be better for me all right pack my things get my keys get my bag let's see what else I get oh the blade oh <sighs> can put away my bag and keys but I'm taking my blade with me I guess I don't need it. Uh, I don't need it anymore. Cool. I'm not packing my guitar. Refrigerator. I got my notebook. Yeah. Oh, notebook. Okay. Books. You guys can read that. So much text. <laughs> Anyways, let's see, anything in the bathroom I need? Nope. Uh, anything else? My laptop's still there, you know. <laughs> I see it. Oh, clothes. Oh, that's my closet. I didn't know that. Okay, take a bag. It's time to get out of here. I don't need my keys. Okay. I'm going to the bus stop. I'm going on the adventure. Give my, uh, the dog a pat before I leave. Goodbye. Solon Town. Goodbye. Peace out. Forever. So many memories. Not good memories. But their memories. <sighs> it's been a long run in this game. Got drunk, went to a party, met a girl, she died. <laughs> I went to the hospital. I wrote some. Solon Town, the town in which 
my life has not improved. Yeah. Bust up. Wait for the bus. Cool. Game's in. This time. Wow. Another town I run away from. He's, uh, he's run away from my town before. I wonder where he left, uh, uh, lived before. Picture. Hold, uh, yeah. Artwork. Yeah, I'm on the bus to pay the fare. So I got on the bus before I paid. Cool. There you go. Yeah, let me sit in the back. Back of the bus. This town will be the last in which I stay for a long time. No more people who are hate. Uh, <laughs> no more people who I hate, and who hate me. No more things I dislike. And I finally realized there is no point to change myself. I am what I am, and I have nothing to do with it. Maybe there's somewhere else. There is a person or several who will be able to accept me as I am. Maybe I will become better. I will not make the same mistakes that I did before. Head and leave the journey until the end of my end of my life before I disappear. Gosh, this game is dark. Hey, what? Uh, what's with you? He felt. Uh, you felt bad? That was bad. Did the bus stop? No, the bus didn't stop. And I thought, he lost consciousness. Stop the bus. Call the doctor. Hey, anyone? Oh, okay. So that's my 13 days. I pass out on the way to... Oh, I, oh, yeah, my dreams. Where's my Reaper, buddy? He went away. I had cancer. I, d I know that. Did I die on the bus? Uh, the Reaper went away because he took me. He finally caught me. He finally caught up. Cool. Oh. Noise of the forest. Sound of breathing. Footsteps. Wake up. Oh, uh, it's, uh, Sophia, the one in the restaurant. We meet again. I'm dead? Yeah, probably. This is not how I imagined you, Jeff. I thought, uh, after death, only the emptiness and nothing more. Such a grim. There's, uh, there is no emptiness. Probably you got into my afterlife instead of yours. Your afterlife looks great. Oh wow, the color! I love, love the color. I tried. I have a, I have a good imagination. What was interesting after my uh, after that day? I don't even want to remember. It was hard for me to lose you. We just met, and those two weeks were filled with uh, just bad mood and terrible depression. Wait. It was two weeks. In those amount of days. Wow. A few days after our meeting, when I was going to college, I lost consci uh, consciousness. I woke up only a day later in the hospital. It turned out I had cancer. I didn't know what to do. I was ill because of what was happen uh, is happening with me, and I tried to commit suicide. It didn't su uh, succeed. Then. You don't need to continue. 
I see it's hard for you to remember. I'm sorry for what happened. I was always careless. It had to do, uh, it had to do s happen sooner or later. If it hadn't been the car, it would have been something else. You don't need to apologize. It's not our fault for what happened. If everything that happened in our lives hadn't happened, we wouldn't have ever met. You still have regrets about what happened? No more. Uh, not, no, anymore. You convinced me. I'm glad about that. Victoria died, and I'm dead too. But for some reason, we didn't meet with, uh, here with her. Were you at her funeral? Yeah, it was not so bad uh, as I expected. But why she decided to do it, no one said. I even found a suicide note from Victoria, but there were almost nothing in it. It seems she was in love with someone, and seems uh, to have been rejected. Do you want to know the cause of her death? Yeah. Victoria and I were best friends. We had been friends since childhood and had always been together. She even forced me to take part in her jokes. It was fun at first. Then she confessed that she was in love with me. It's about, uh, it was about a month before she died. Do you remember our conversation in the cafe? Why we were quarreled with her? Yeah. And so it, it was because of me. I could not accept her feelings for me, because not because I didn't like her. I also loved her, but I wanted to get married and have wanted to have children. I wanted to ha create a happy family, and with her, I could not get that. Victoria couldn't accept the fact that I rejected her. She became different. Her jokes became cruel. She changed a lot then. She was very upset then. Because of the fact that no one liked her and I didn't understand her jokes. And the fact that I didn't accept her. This finally changed her. Victoria couldn't deal with everything that happened in her life. And then you know she you know what she did. So that's how. Yeah. Da, da, da. I was at Grace's party. <laughs> how did you end up there? Did you like it? How to say. I never like places that I don't even know why I went there. Some guys was starting to uh, annoy me. Then I got drunk and somehow made it home. That's the whole party. You spoiled your fun. And you were offended and drunk. <laughs> yeah. So we uh, w weren't able to hang out on the roof. That's a pity. There's one uh, house with a beautiful view of the sunset. Are you still going to the roof? Let's go. Yay, me and Sophia dead together. I finally met someone in my death. Walking on, holding hands. Beautiful. So beautiful. It was ringing in my ears. Am I actually alive? Come on. We're on the roof. Together. The end. Wow. Such a heartfelt, like, ending. But that's the end. So yeah, guys. That was 13 days of life. Hope you guys liked it. I def uh, I got a little spooked uh, when like I cut myself in a little uh, like in the game, but other than that, storyline was okay. Not not the best, but they need to work on their <laughs> English. But anyways, yeah, guys, that's the game. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that bell. And see you guys in the next video. Peace out.